So what we're looking at here is the traditional approach to raising cattle in Cambodia. This lovely cow here is tethered and she's fed rice straw. It's a byproduct from the production of rice. From a nutrition perspective, it's one of the wonders of the world that the animals stay alive and, and healthy on it. So what we do is we visit some target villages that we're working in, explain what the project is about, and from that, there are a number of farmers that become engaged in the project. The green leaf is full of energy and protein and minerals and vitamins for the cattle. The differences are that cows are more fertile so they have more calves, they produce more milk, and so therefore their calves, like this little girl, can grow faster, <laughs> bigger and fatter. At the moment, with the growing demand for red meat in Cambodia and into Vietnam and southern China, the demand for these animals that are in better condition has improved, so they're, they're, they become more valuable animals for these farmers that are raising them. So they are now an asset that is growing in value and can be cashed in very quickly, a very liquid asset. For this household, it has allowed them to go from having two cattle that were solely for the purposes of preparing their rice fields to now having up to 12 cattle. This farm is particularly interesting because the lady is a cattle trader, so she buys and sells cattle for a business. It was, to be honest, a little bit of a strategy because she becomes a great example for a large number of people coming through this farm. ពីមុនមកគេអត់មានចាប់អារម្មណ៍ទេដល់ពីឥឡូវឃើញខ្ញុំដើមខ្ញុំឲ្យគូស៊ីបែបស្រួលគេថាអីស្រួលមែនស្